Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This young man presents a problem which is not uh, terribly apparent. He represents the more usual patient. The more dramatic one we'd uh, perhaps like to show you, but uh, this is uh, more the type that you'll have to deal with. So to uh, demonstrate the patient uh, for you is uh, Jim Summers. And Jim, uh, why don't you show us what it is that uh, you're looking at here? All right. The patient presents with a white coat, a heavy coat on the, on the tongue, ranging from about the middle third well back onto the posterior third of the tongue. Uh, the coat is somewhat tenacious, although it can be scraped off. And uh, it's now sort of a yellowish brown color. And the uh, patient reports that this coat will get darker as the day progresses. OK. Let's ask uh, Tom a couple of questions. Uh, how did you first notice this uh, lesion on your tongue? I was just looking in the mirror one day. You looked in the mirror one day. Uh, tell me something. Uh, how long was it there before you did anything about it? Um, only a day or so. Only a day or so. And then what did you do? Uh, I talked to Jim, and then I talked to my dentist, my regular dentist. OK. And uh, he suggested you do what? Um, use hydrogen peroxide and uh, baking soda. How? Um, just rinse my mouth with it. Uh, every day, once a day, or what? Uh, I usually did it when I brushed my teeth. And you know, that was what, twice a day maybe? Yeah, in the morning and in the evening. Did it go away? It start, It appeared to, yes. Okay, so this thing has been persistent uh, on and off for a considerable period of time. How yeah. long ago did you first notice it? About uh, six, maybe eight months ago. Okay, and uh, do you feel that anything caused it? Uh, what uh, happened just before it developed? Um, I took the antibiotics for an ear infection. And how long were you on the antibiotics? Just a few days. And what type of antibiotic was it? Uh, Sudafed. Okay. Uh, Jim, I wonder, uh, why don't you show us, demonstrate how you'd examine the tongue. All right. Let's just suppose that Tom came in right now and you were just having your first look. How would you go about examining the tongue? Well, the first thing you do, stick your tongue out, is just grab right a hold of the tongue and pull it. You can examine a good deal of the dorsum of the tongue this way. And with the aid of a tongue depressor, you can see even more and back into the throat. By pulling the tongue to this side, you can examine this lateral border and also on this side. And uh, palpation of the floor of the mouth and okay. tongue. Very good. Did you notice anything uh, additional uh, in this mouth that is worthy of attention probably related to this tongue? Uh, or is this an isolated thing? Uh, there seem to be some white spots, uh, well, on the, on the uh, lateral border of the tongue, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit distinct from the What do you think the lesion is? Uh, I think it's a heavy black, well, black hairy tongue, although now it's not black. Okay. Let's, uh, let's examine that tongue just a bit again here. Tom, stick out your tongue for us. I think it's nice if you open the gauze up. Then you can wrap it right in there. Now we're going to pull this tongue out just a little bit. We dry off the tongue. And then we'll raise this furry coat. You can see how it, we can scrape it. And it's, uh, it's called hairy because these little things actually stick up like little hairs. And you can see how I've scraped off the material that's on the tongue blade here. So this kind of gives you a little bit of a clue what do you suppose causes this material? Why is this tongue coated? In other words, what is it that makes that coat? Well, it's not going through the normal uh, disquamative process. It's accumulating uh, mi microorganisms, uh, food debris, and the normal cells that would normally be uh, shed, sloughed off. That's right. So if you looked at this under the microscope, what do you suppose you'd see? You'd see just a heavy plaque, not, not really anything distinct. Uh, you wouldn't really see the microorganisms, but you might see some cell remnants and some food debris. And underneath that, you'd see the normal. The papillae are extremely tissue. long. All right. And uh, the epithelial surface on these papillae is uh, uh, hornified, almost like hair, because, of course, hair and these things are both keratin. So in other words, the hairy tongue is not too bad a name for this. 
uh, in uh, this patient's case, they're relatively short. What do you suppose we ought to do to get rid of them? Uh, the treatment, uh, since the etiology is sort of unknown at any specific microorganism, uh, I think uh, podophyllin resin was recommended in the Yeah, that, that's the right. This is, a, this is a drug which will remove the keratinaceous coat. But I wonder if we've explored all the possibilities. Why, uh, why do you suppose it's brown, Tom? Do you smoke? Yeah. Okay, and you ever looked at a filter inside a, a pipe or something of like that sort? Yeah, okay, well that's the material. Your tongue is acting like a cigarette filter here, and it's just trapping all these tars and materials, and that's what you see. So uh, probably the way to get rid of the color, of course you can bleach it with hydrogen peroxide, but peroxide itself is a little bit of an irritant and uh, can mm -hmm. cause the thing to grow. So. Uh, you'll bleach it with hydrogen peroxide, discolor it maybe, but I think uh, probably just uh, good mechanical cleansing periodically with a toothbrush or even a tongue blade, just as I did there, just simply scrape it off will help. And then the denophorus, uh, which has a detergent in it, uh, work that around into the crevices between and around these individual little papillae and uh, this will help. We see this lesion more in smokers and I suspect that it happens elsewhere, but the the color from the tobacco calls it to our attention. That's why black or brown hairy tongue. Uh, what do, role do you think the antibiotics played? Uh, it changes the uh, flora of the mouth such that saprophytic organisms can uh, increase their numbers, especially on the tongue. Okay, good. And so after the antibiotic is discontinued, the goal then would be to somehow establish the normal flora once again. Right. So we're going to try to establish normal flora and mechanically to remove this lesion and teach the patient how to cleanse his own tongue so that he can uh, keep the lesion under control. Very good. Thank you. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.